struggling to build an aquarium in this video i am going to show you what happened in my case how silicon injection in aquarium build can fail how to use proper precautions if you are building it for the first time plus i will give updates of the upcoming pond aquariums and house improvement works i am doing so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't already aquariums can be prone to leaks due to air bubbles unfilled gaps in the silicon injection this can be a major problem for aquarium owners as it can lead to water loss and damage to the fish and other aquatic life inside fortunately there are ways to prevent these types of leaks by ensuring that all gaps are filled when injected silicon into the aquarium walls do a proper inspection while you apply the silicon to make sure that silicon is properly filled Additionally air bubbles should be eliminated from injection process by using a vacuum pump or other method by taking these precautions aquarium owners can ensure that their tanks remain leak free for many years to come silicon injection involves injecting liquid silicon into the joints of an aquarium build in order to create a waterproof seal if not done correctly this process can cause leaks or other structural issues that can lead to costly repairs or even the destruction of the entire tank additionally improper use of silicon injection can also lead to contamination of the water and fish health problems the common cause of silicon injection failure in aquarium built can be silicon not getting evenly in the aquarium gaps uneven ground level or glass leveling not seeing if silicon is injected properly or no improper setup of silicon applications now i will tell you what i did to repair all this and learn more about the silicon injection for the aquarium build hello guys welcome back it's me sinto so in this video i will be showing you the aquarium rebuild out the rebuilt of 55 gallon aquarium in my newly built outhouse some pending works are there like doors lights and all that things but i have started building here tiles have been laid out and i bought this sewing machine for making the doors anyway this is the protection thing i have covered around the aquarium and this is the aquarium so i'm building out freshly new it was very tedious task arranging this all glasses all by myself and i did make some cut marks with this machine not that the machine but when i handled that saw blade it fell on my hand and it cut it out so be careful if you are buying this one it is a very dangerous machine the table saw okay This is the 55 gallon aquarium, and here it is the cupboard I have shown you earlier. And now I'm going to silicone it just around these grooves using silicon injection method. I'm using some newly bought, very exotic type of glue called Malavia. aquarium glass sealant it was very difficult to find on amazon and sellers on local store these type of silicones are very useful for building aquariums they are completely safe for the fishes normally you get silicones from the local stores but uh, they are not safe for the fish and also they wear out uh, within one or two years if the silicone is not good So next I will be gluing out all this first I will be silo taping it as I told earlier uh, if you apply the silo tape the glue will not spread out to the other areas of the glass as well as you can see if the glues are completely injected between these glasses if you are using silo tape so silo tapes are those tapes which are transparent and the, it will allow you to see the silicon being injected Anyway, there is no lights in this outhouse, so I have to make it quick. Or otherwise, I will start the work tomorrow. 
all my uh, projects of aquariums and aquarium related things are on hold due to this outhouse work the workers are not available that much so the work is very slow also that part of the land has been cleared out and there i will be building a pond so there it is the rocks are there if i remove the rocks there will be a large area for building the ponds i will be starting that also very soon still looking for some fund to do all these projects because i'm taking it from my business and i cannot take that much money from the business to do all these things you help me out in this it will be very helpful and this one is the 2600 gallon project it is on pending and uh, the tiles will be applied on this here and the acrylic panels are there to be installed once the acrylic panel is installed the motors and filters will be attached that's all things is fine for this large project for the 2600 gallon aquarium the acrylic panels cost around 6 lakh rupees and they have to be installed on this so let's continue with the 55 gallon aquarium so i have applied the cello tape around here as you can see next i will be starting gluing it i have doubt about this thing how can i remove it this one how can i remove this if i glue them because after silicon injection these pellets have to be removed if some sort of silicon ball or some stopper is there instead of this pellet that can be easily removed then this assembly could have been much easier or you have to make a machine like something like this that can hold all the four glasses in air and then you can apply the silicon that is a next level of silicon injection probably used in factories or something like that i have never seen it live doing the silicon injection the idea aquariums make it but they don't reveal it how they do the silicon injection so anyway this the next process will be a tedious task of silicon injecting the all the silicons inside these screws there is nothing much left to complete this one doing the finishing works so that i have removed the extra silicons almost all of them have been removed i have to clean that just using some acetone or paint removing solutions to give it a better finish i use these blades this is the razor blade usually used to turn apart the aquariums and this is the craft knife it can be used to cut out the uh, hard to reach surfaces like the corners we can run the blade first along the this side and then along this side to remove the extra silicon you can also scrape off the silicons like this slightly on the edges and just scrape off like this like you are shaving something and if you still find some silicons you can use acetone and paint remover solutions so now time to test it out with water so let's try that all right guys i checked the aquarium after filling the water and it was leaking from this end very single little droplets from here so i'm going to reseal it not going to take it apart because it's too much time now i have doing this i have came up a solution if you are doing silicon injection in aquariums make sure that the bottom is not like this the glass are not sitting on the bottom of the glass instead uh, the bottom glass is inside this all four glasses then you can easily silicon all the areas and gaps very easily you just need a clamp from this side and those tools i shown you earlier 
so that's the only solution if you are using silicon injection method otherwise if you are doing this way like the bottom glass is holding all the other glass then it is very difficult to do the silicon injection i watched the other videos on the youtube and on this you can use toothpick or some small silicon taps to create the gap mostly fish lines are used but i use uh, the credit card and atm card used card i'm going to seal it again and hopefully the next day i can test out with the water let's do this so next i will give you the tips on silicon injection that can save you a lot of time use these tips and precautions and you will be at a good start and a good finish i separated all the glasses of my existing aquarium using a razor blade if you want to buy this kind of blade for your use check the links in the description these blades are sharp and the blade do slip off so make sure to work with them gently i did cut my finger skin as i applied too much pressure and the blade slipped off from the handle after glass were separated i scrape off the old silicon using the blade make sure to change the blade if the silicon is not coming out properly you can also use acetone or paint remover to remove any silicon marks in the glass to leave a clear glass for reuse i assembled the glass again using the tools i used earlier also use the solo tape or transparent tape to see the silicon being injected use better divider or gap creator for injecting the silicon toothpicks or thin used up debit or credit cards are good options do a proper testing while applying the silicon this can avoid any gaps or air bubbles appearing between the gaps of the glasses as the silicon is not cured you can always remove the air bubbles by pushing more silicon between the gaps of the glasses also if you are trying out for the first time try to keep the bottom glasses between all the surrounding glasses as it can reduce the pressure on the bottom glass and also reduce the chances of uneven silicon injection which may arise due to uneven surface or uneven ground levels this is my one acre land some muds are available here i have to sell all of this and i collected some rocks i have shown you earlier also i have to sell these rocks and then move on to removing this mud after this mud are removed i can make a big pond there with the waterfall that's why the rocks are left there for the waterfall i plan to grow some salmon or something like that on that deeper end and then here when it flows down i plan to grow some ornamental fish like koi fish or discus fish hopefully it will pan out very well some garden box are also pending like here i have to grow all the garden plants lot of box are there and in front of this outhouse there will be a swimming pool right here with the lounge area right here guess what the new office table just arrived it is worth 50000 indian rupees very good office table with lot of facilities like here you can keep all the tables down below here and you have to draw as here in each door there are two cupboards cabinets you can keep lot of files and things and stuff like here there are two cabinets this whole desk is empty you can put your chairs or recording things below it very neat setup if you want to buy similar stuff check the pepperfly.com it is available there very good quality furniture i will certainly recommend you this one 
is the 2600 gallon aquarium. The acrylic panels are pending and filtration is pending. After those tours are completed, it will be running up about 2600 gallons of water. I plan to grow some exotic fishes in it. Also the gravels and plants parts are also pending. So it will cost a big amount to make all that things. If you want to support me and this channel, please check the links in the video description or join us channel members. The Ethernet cable has to be installed here for super fast internet. Just all things is good. After the electricity panels are installed, I will be fixing all the ceiling lights and all that stuff. And after that, the windows and doors will be installed. So this door will be installed very soon and it will prevent the dust from coming in and spoiling all the things here. The bathroom, as you can see, is from branded companies like Kohler. It expenses stuff and just trying out whether the products are good or not. I'm always testing different products. You can check the product review channel. It is called Finisher. The links to all this is in the video description. Here it is completely tiled bathroom. Rest the toilets will be installed and fittings will be installed. Once it is all installed, I will also make a video about it. Make sure to subscribe this channel. Also, this whole aquarium will be coated with RK tiles like this one, 45 glazed tiles. I will be installing a dark grey called Amani Marble Dark Grey from RK. The whole aquarium walls will be covered with that tile. It will be looking very beautiful after the grey color is installed on it. And here a door will be installed called the river doors. There will be epoxy rivers on one of the doors. It will be looking very cool after it is made. All the step stones from Johnson's has been installed. Very good step stones called Johnson and Dura step stones. Here all things are messy. The electric lines and the wash basin pipes are being pulled out here and it is going straight to that fish land. More tiles will be installed on the outer surface like here. This solar clad tiles from Johnson has stopped its production so there is very little tiles available in the market. So I have sourced a different type of tile instead of it and the pending areas will be installed with those tiles. So a lot of work for this house is pending. After the works has been completed, I will move on to the next like here the swimming pool and the bathroom area. The bathroom area will be also incorporating various branded products and good tiles. If you want to check out all these home improvement videos, make sure to subscribe this channel. So I have filled the aquarium with water and it is looking good, no leaks so far. I have almost kept two days now. There is not much leak here. Not much means there is no leaks. Little bit looking dirty here and there because silicones are spread here and there. I have to clean it with solutions like acetone or car paint removers, stuff like that. It can dissolve off the silicone, so I will make sure that only those surfaces where it is spread out, I will apply those solutions. Hopefully, it will be a good tip for you as well. Now next I will be installing filters and all that things for this aquarium. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, please drop it down in the comment section. I would like to know.